Good morning, lovely people. So it's actually super early in the morning. I got up originally at 4.30 and I just laid back down a little bit, but I decided let me get up and be productive with my budget. So I'm in the office getting ready to do one or two budget videos because I have a hair appointment at 8.15 and I would need to leave here around 7 15 7 20 and i'm taking baby girl with me so i just need to make sure we're all on the same page um y'all i've officially eaten clean no grains no sugar or no carbs no sugar for pretty much a whole week now and i am sorry y'all i'm trying to get something printed um and i am feeling amazing I think last week I showed how much I weighed. Um, yesterday when I weighed myself, I was 220. But then when I weighed myself this morning, I was 221. So we're going to go with 221. Um, I did eat like super late, but I had a salad. We had, um, what's the word? We um, had ordered some Chipotle. So... Um, my husband and I had got some, well, he ended up having some rice in his, but I did like a whole straight salad. So your weight fluctuates, but I'm losing the weight, which is the most important thing. So super excited about that and ready to go on into week two of no grains, no sugar, and just pushing forward because my gift to myself if i can lose five pounds a week which would be 15 pounds until my birthday um i'm definitely gonna be enjoying my birthday i mean either way i'm gonna enjoy my birthday which is on thanksgiving but that would be like a major like thing for me that would be amazing for me so we'll see how that goes but i want to go ahead and just get these videos done i did make my coffee you guys so i have my coffee right here and we'll see how the day goes it's supposed to rain today so we'll definitely be in and yeah i'll catch up with y'all in a bit all right, you guys, so we're getting ready to head out the house. I'm actually going to put all of our stuff in there because baby girl is still taking her time. She kind of woke up and felt a little, like, feverish, but I gave her some Motrin because that will last pretty much all day. I got her book bag with her snacks and, ugh, um, like, diapers and wipes whenever we're on the road that is just the safest option she's got her water cup y'all i've got my water cup and then um for breakfast to avoid even the temptation of going somewhere else i have my hard boiled eggs so that is what i am going to enjoy so i'm going to get everything into the car we're going to get going because i wanted to leave at 7 20 but now it's 7 30 and we don't need to waste any more time so we are back home, you guys, and um, I know y'all saw me eat like three hard-boiled eggs, um, and that kept me. It's about 10.35 right now, and I'm actually going to make baby girl like an actual like breakfast because she hasn't been able to have one. So I'm actually just going to sort of eat right now because that would have been what I would have really wanted for breakfast instead of... Um, what I had because that's like my work breakfast not my weekend breakfast <laughs> but um yeah so we're gonna do that I'm gonna make her some eggs and give her some fruit and then I'm gonna fry me up some fried eggs y'all the tv is not on um I did what's it called let me get this down here I did um, make, oh, we got a new TV. And so upstairs has the old TV. So we will be going up there. Because what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to 
um, while she's up there like playing and football is on and stuff, we'll have breakfast down here. I could at least be cleaning up her bedroom and her bathroom and we're all in the same place and it doesn't get too crazy. So that should work out pretty well. And then um, because we have the TV, like we're good at this point. So I'm gonna quickly make her some breakfast and then I'll show y'all what we ended up putting together. So here is our breakfast. Baby girl just has her scrambled eggs and some grapes. And then my makeshift fried eggs and one piece of toast with some cream cheese and jam. And that is what we're going to eat. I did end up turning on the TV because it just reminded me like I wanted to hear all about the sports news. And I gave baby girl my iPad just so she could play on it because she wanted to help cook. And I really just wanted to get this done because y'all, my house is a mess. Like dishes need to be washed. The house needs to be clean. Clothes need to be washed. And I am trying to do that and still make time for myself. Um, so yeah, so let me go eat with a baby girl and I'll catch y'all back up when we go upstairs and y'all can see my thought process with the playroom up there. So we are upstairs. We are enjoying watching football. And this is just what the game room or the playroom looks like right now. Baby girl is playing and doing all of the things. So I'm not making a big like thing of it right now. But I'm thinking that we'll probably take this down before the end of the year. Um, now that the TV's up on here, we have some of these bins right here, so those will have toys. She has some books around here. Pretty much clean up some of the, like, trash. Um, and then she has, like, those containers have the Love Every kits in them. And I wanted them to go up uh, in the attic because those are from when she was, like, a baby baby. And then she has that other car over there where we keep some of her toys as well too the ottoman would go back downstairs and then like her chair um and things like that would come up so um that is what i'm thinking of doing i'm not gonna lie i'm just trying to take it like a day at a time and not try to do too much so while i was up here i was to clean up baby girl's um bathroom so it's all like nice and clean now there's actually not a lot going on in here um but that is her bathroom and then i did get to clean up her room some so y'all we are still doing good in here 
she's finally got i think i showed y'all this that her she's got her curtains up she's gonna take a nap in a bit but yeah so um just cleaned up some because she did have like books in around here it's not like this like i wouldn't say it's perfect looking but perfect looking so um that's what her room looks like so at least those two areas are cleaned and then i can just work on in here throughout the weekends the weekday um any time that i have off of work and all of that good stuff so i feel like this is just like perfect because even if it's left dirty for a day i'm not too anxious about the space like i would be like downstairs um she did let me go and clean up the kitchen y'all so got the dishes going in the dishwasher um i still have some more stuff that I need to get washed but at least most of them are done and then um i need to vacuum the floor but got to get the counters cleaned off the trash taken out so we're good on that and i think i will do a load of laundry once she goes down so that would be good y'all but we are here chilling like i said it's a gloomy day so that's like the best time for it to feel like fall even though it's 100 degrees outside um and then yeah so what time is it it's actually 1201 so um we're gonna put on a like nighttime diaper while she goes and take a nap or a diaper and then um play with her read a couple of books and then probably get her into her bed for her nap all right you guys so i'm just having some lunch it's pretty much 2:30. um i was trying to avoid the bread but this is the hard part of like keto is finding like lunch stuff for the weekend but i'd rather have the keto bread than something else and then i just have a handful of like mixed nuts and y'all i have my coffee i was able to get some videos done so i'm gonna relax while it's still raining outside so that um or that and then enjoy my lunch until baby girl wakes up you guys so i just finished doing um or got the last of my grocery haul so it just kind of looks why the chair is on the table but um, i'm actually going to eat one of these because i'm actually craving something so i'm having that weirdly enough um normally on the weekends i don't crave a whole bunch of food but i guess today i'm like hitting that like part of the keto before you really get over the hump of like chocolate craving so i did buy some um uh, keto chocolate chips um and some keto waffle and pancake mix so I'm gonna make that for breakfast for us tomorrow, um, along with like some sausage, bacon, and eggs. So this will be a nice breakfast to have for all of us tomorrow. And that will help keep my um, like chocolate at bay. I think like just having something healthy will be good. And then I also got this keto brownie. So, um, my husband said he'll make it for me tomorrow so that I can have this as a treat. And just finding healthy things to eat because it can get a little overwhelming, especially when you want to snack, like what you can snack on. I have my almonds. Um, I did pick up some pickles if I didn't show y'all. Um, now I have some pickles. Then I'll have a little bit of the fudge brownie to help with, you know, all of the things and just do the things, y'all. So um, we are now watching football. My husband's home. We're all just kind of chilling. I was able to clean up the bathrooms um, downstairs, so I feel much better. And then I have my husband's clothes in the washing machine. So definitely doing good. And the kitchen is like all cleaned up. So we're doing good. We're doing good. Here is dinner, you guys. So I have some hot wings. My husband has mango habanero. This is just some blue cheese. So I just put it in a container since they have it in this. And I'm just going to enjoy some while I finish watching up this game. Good morning, you guys. <clears throat> Ooh, my throat is a little raspy. This is like my first time talking. I'm awake, y'all, and time has changed. It feels so weird because I feel like I've been sleeping for years. <clears throat> but just coming on here and saying good morning, 
I'm going to try to drink my tea and let my throat settle. And I'll catch y'all back up here because both my phone and my iPad is dead. I put my phone on the charger, but I guess it wasn't sitting on there properly. So it wasn't really charging. It kept like charging and then not charging, charging, and then not charging. So I have them on the charger. So they should charge up pretty quickly because I have a fast charger. So I'll chat with y'all in a little bit. All right, you guys, so I am awake. I actually left my house to go to work really quickly. I'm so proud of myself because I had came back within like maybe 45 minutes. When no one's on the road, y'all, things move quickly. So I went because I needed my new like coworker. She's not an assistant. She's in sales, so she can't post rent. And so I needed to make sure that all of the rent that we got as of the third was posted because tomorrow's technically considered late. So I went there really quickly to post all of that rent so my heart feels you're done baby okay good job baby so um now i feel so much better i came back home i took out the towels that i washed from yesterday they were dry i just left them in the dryer but i had just re yes baby i'm not sure what she's she's got going on y'all but um so i just like dried them up flipped them up and put them away and then i have the other half of the towels washing and then i'll do my clothes and then baby girl's clothes last so i think that yes baby um they might be over there and uh by the office um, and so I think I should have all of the clothes probably washed by like 12, 1230. I had seasoned the baby back ribs so that at 12 o'clock I can put them maybe 1130 in the crock pot so they could start cooking because I'm going to do that with some cauliflower rice, beans and avocado for dinner tonight and then I have the other two meats that I need to defrost defrosting right now and then I like just cleaned up the kitchen a little bit racing is about to start so we're about to watch the race and then I have um, I'm going to be making us bre breakfast and so we are going to do some chocolate chip keto pancakes egg sausage and bacon so that should be fun baby i think daddy went around the corner so we're gonna stay in until he comes back okay um and so yeah so got everything kind of looking together was cleaning out the pantry with some of the boxes and things like that so that's just what we're doing right now y'all time has changed it feels so weird it's raining outside and um and so um yes daddy went outside yes yes and so yeah we're gonna enjoy some some racing and then get breakfast i'll show y'all what breakfast looks like talk about how it tastes oh sorry baby um and then go from there so i hope you guys had a productive week and um and yeah i'll catch y'all back up here all right you guys so here is my breakfast um i don't know we're gonna try these i kind of burnt them a little bit and then i have my sausages there my husband has the same thing except he has sunny side eggs and bacon and baby girl ate way earlier than we did and she just got some eggs and a waffle so you guys i'm on here chatting it has been a very gloomy and rainy like stormy day it's been like thundering as well too baby girl is napping and so is my husband but my um ribs are in the crock pot cooking so it doesn't require me to do a whole lot um baby girl's clothes is the last clothes to um what is it called drying like in the dryer 
And so I have just been in my office. I got another video done. So y'all gonna be tired of me because there are just gonna be videos, 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 videos coming out. So make sure you guys are catching them. But just really getting to go through my numbers, relax, not be stressed um, or anything like that. And just preparing for the week. I just wanted to drop in here. Since we had breakfast, I have not snacked. I did have some coffee um, in here and I've just been drinking my water, but I'm not gonna lot i feel for a bubbly water so i'm probably gonna go make me some of that to drink and then um what time is it actually baby girl should wake up in a few i normally do her hair later on in the evening i'm not gonna lie though today i really feel like i want to do her hair in just a huge ponytail like spend my time comb her hair out but then just put it in a ponytail so we're gonna see what happens with that because that'd be super easy for me to just do her hair like that and then maybe on wednesday part it in the middle and give her two pigtails for the rest of the week and make my life simple but we will see i'm going to continue working on my 2025 budget um because that will be coming up very very soon and i'm just relaxing i'm actually about to go like hop in the couch and just relax and continue to watch football in the background and um yeah, so I'll chat with y'all once I start getting like dinner together and stuff like that. But y'all know Sundays are normally a super chill day. I did want to say y'all those pancakes were like delicious. And when I think about the carb count, because I only had two, it was still less than seven grams of carbs. And I had the chocolate chips in there as well too. So that was delicious. I just, this time I won't burn them. Um, and I feel like I was reading the reviews and a lot of people were saying that, but honestly, you don't really need a big pancake. But um, I did add just like a little bit of milk in there too, just to make them like a little bit more fluffy. But it wasn't even more than like a tablespoon maybe. So that was delicious as well too. So we have those and um, wanted to update y'all on that. So that's something nice to have in the house. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna go hang out in the living room and relax. So here is dinner, you guys. We are eating at 6.03, but it feels like it's eight o'clock at night, y'all. So I just have some cauliflower rice with a little bit of red beans, um, uh, avocado, and then two pieces of my, what did I, what is this, y'all? What is this? Barbecue ribs. So this is what I'm eating. Well, you guys, it is nighttime. I took a bath. The kitchen is all cleaned up. So is the living room. Baby girl's clothes for daycare next week. It's all packed up. All of our clothes are washed. Like I got to relax. I got to do my videos. I am going to try and read a little bit because um, I haven't done much of it all week. And um, Sunday night football is on. So I have that going in the background. My husband had made me a keto brownie and I had a little piece of it but it needs to like still cool because it's like gooey on the inside. But that will be my little treat throughout the week. Um, and excuse me, just to like quell that like chocolate because that like that chocolate, like wanting chocolate. I'm still taking my vitamins and all that stuff. But y'all, week one is down. I feel good. I'm going into week two and I am going to start exercising. Now, my exercising is just walking. So I'm thinking instead of doing a 15 minute walk to do a 30 minute walk to really get my heart rate going 20, 30 minutes. So we're going to see how it works out this week, but really just doing some kind of physical like activity to get my body going. So I'll follow up with y'all on my first week of exercising, week two of eating no grains, no sugar. I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Don't forget to take care of your health. Like, 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 comment, share with your friends and family. And I will see you guys in the next one.